Today I will show you how to make this heavy flicker effect. Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have a clip of Netspan from one of his music videos and there's actually three of Netspans. And this clip is very great for this effect because it has like a very slow motion. So now what we can just do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we can just start making the effect already. So the first effect I recommend to add here is as hotspots. At the start, I like to make the threshold to 0.6. And now the most important thing is to just press on this keyframe button and now we can add exposure and at the start just keyframe the exposure at zero and don't change anything else and now we can add s hue sat bright both of these two effects need the sapphire plugin so you should probably have the sapphire plugin for this and here i'm just going to keyframe the brightness at the start to one and now we need to press u and we will see all of the keyframes that we just made and now we can go one frame forward and here we can make the s hotspots a bit higher so this can be more visible so here we can make it to 0.2 already like adds a little bit of a flicker right here i like to make the exposure a bit higher to like 0.2 but i'm just gonna keep the brightness as it is to one and i'll just press on here so it actually like stamps here and now we can go one frame forward again and here i'm just going to make the s hotspots to zero so we can just fully see the clip here i will make the exposure kind of high to like one and the s hue set bright this is actually not a fully needed effect if you don't want it but i actually like to make this to two so it will give like a really high exposure that might be a bit too much for you so you can like uh, make it a bit lower but i actually like it to two and a lot of the flicker effects that i see used do sometimes have like a really huge brightness so i'm just gonna have it like this and now let's go one frame forward and here we can keyframe the s hotspots to zero again and here we can make the exposure to 0.2 and the brightness here to one now go one more frame forward again and here we're going to make it dark so here we're going to make it to 0.6 on that threshold i'm just going to keep the exposure as it was like this and i will keyframe the s hue set bright like that as well now let's go one frame forward again and here i'm gonna make the s hotspots to one which will in fact just make it completely dark like that and and I'm just going to give him here and here as well. And now let's go to the last frame of what we're going to be using. And here let's make the threshold to 0.6 and the exposure to zero. And now you'll have like this really cool flicker. So now you might be wondering why does it flicker for only here? In the intro of the video, I did show like the flicker for a long time. So to actually do a long flicker, you need to go to like S hotspots here and you need to hold alt and press on the stopwatch right here. And here you need to type loop out and when this pops up just click it two times and pop out of there so this will loop out basically like the s hotspots and now we need to go and loop out the exposure as well so here we need to hold alt press exposure i can do the same thing loop out press on it double type go here and the last one is as hue set bright oh i forgot to keyframe as you set bright to one at the ending as well and here let's go back to as you set bright and here hold alt press on there type loop out and just double press here and you will have your effect and yeah it just will flicker now and that is looking really good uh this is how it actually looks as you can see that is a really good flicker and you can see this in like two hollis music videos and also the gunner are you even listening music video and to actually save this effect all you need to do is just go to one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select all of the keyframes and then go to animation save animation preset and here you just need to call it heavy flicker i guess i'll call it povicus and press save now we've saved as a preset so all you would need to do now is go to effects and presets and type heavy flicker povicus and just drop it and you will have the effect for the two hollis music videos they sometimes have like this dark part as you can see here for two frames so just keep that in mind if you want to like recreate the two hollis uh, fully and if you want more crazy flicker effects that are a bit different from this but have like more glow and those effects are very popping at the moment on edits and if you have watched any music videos recently or some edits then you probably have seen these type of flickers so the flickers i'm talking about are from my flicker presets pack which is a pack that is on my povicos.com website which i really recommend to check out so i'm going to turn off the heavy flicker and i'll press ctrl y and i'll show you a couple of these effects because i really recommend to try it out and it's super easy like all you would have to do is just basically drop the preset and that's it so you can type flicker if you have the pack and you can just go here you will have like over 30 presets and you can just start dropping so the flicker heavies are perfect and they are very popular nowadays now the thing you will notice of flicker heavies is it's going to make this duplication so you need to press ctrl y and add motion tile on top of it and here make the output width to 80 because the clip already had black 
black bars. That's why it's doing it like this. Now, this flipper heavy is going to look like this. That looks really good in my opinion. And yeah, that is just a simple flicker heavy. With these effects, I really recommend to sometimes just press Ctrl D on the layer and just duplicate them. Now you will have like a way heavier flicker. And this is how the effect will look. Absolutely insane. So you will get like over 30 plus pieces on this pack. I definitely recommend to check it out. Now for supporting the channel and watching my videos, I do have to say that I have a $5 discount code, which is called Povicas. You can use it to save $5 off on the Flickr presets pack. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.